What's going on, people? I'm here again, dropping another banger. And this time we have a young boy who goes by the name of Nick Blicky, who was shot and killed in the streets of Brooklyn, New York, on Mother's Day. This is this is crazy. First, we have Pop Smoke. Who got gunned down in Cali. And now we have Pop Smoke. Which I believe he was was affiliated with. Folk Gang, I believe. And I'm not even going to hold you. This really breaks my heart. These are young people losing their lives over nonsense whatsoever. I, I grew up in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Ebbetsfield to be exact. I moved from Flatbush to Ebbetsfield, then to East New York. So, I've seen this stupid a few times. I even played open ball with him during an open gym session a few times. He was really humble. He was a good kid, man. And I'm not saying this just because he passed away. He was really talented too. This is just observe all the young people that's watching this right now. If you're into that gang life, just know it comes with a price. And nine times out of ten, it's not positive. It's either you're going to end up going to jail or being sent six feet under. And I'm not proud to say that. And first of all, let me get this out of the way. I have never and never planned on gangbanging in my life. I was always into my schoolwork and I played basketball on the side. And of course, I worked too to get my income. That gang life comes with a price. It is sad. The cycle just repeats itself over and over again. When is this nonsense violence going to stop? And we have youngsters on the internet, Instagram, Facebook, going live, making fun of this um, this kid's death, talking about, oh, they smoking on this pack, that pack. Meanwhile, knowing damn well they did not put no work in. They didn't shoot the guy. That's not <clears throat> that's not valid. That's not street life right there. That's not the code. And also, for you young rappers out there, the type of music you make, the lyrics you cite, the beat that you choose, it all comes back to you. The words that you speak will reflect you in your lifetime. These rappers, a pastor from your church, a imam from your mosque, Muslims, and a rapper, all these three people have the same impact on people who listen to them. When they preach that music, when they preach the words of God, the Bible, the Quran. He was shot seven times. So basically, whoever these people were that went after him was really trying to just end his life. Because you don't shot, shoot somebody more than once just to harm them. Anything more than three shots, that's just, that's personal right there. He was shot in his chest and buttocks. So they shot him in his chest and his ass, basically. And left him in the streets to die. He was shot in his neighborhood. About three blocks away where he lived at. All Mother's Day, 9.30 p.m. Damn, that is just crazy.
crazy. I know a few gangs in Brooklyn or rival gangs of the folk gang that's around his hood, but I'm not going to name no names because I'm not pointing out anybody right now. So, long story short, this case is still ongoing, but it's quarantine. NYC is still locked down until June 13th, I believe. So, this might as might turn out to be a cold case, just like Pop Smoke and the rest of these rappers. It's sad, bro, that shit like this happened to regular people every day. For you young drill rappers out there just listen listen hear me out real quick the type of beats you pick right the type of lyrics that you cite they are all demonic okay and the the drugs liquor that you do is all playing into the um playing into the favor for the devil so you must know your lyrics will come back to hunt you. The liquor that you do will also, the drugs you do will have effect on your body. And the beats that you, cho- you choose for your songs, beats, those are also going to have an e- 